Well, the Asher cut has been developed in 1902, and it was actually a breakthrough in our industry, in innovation, because nobody has patented the diamond cut design before him. And I started here in 1970. By the time you finish, 50 years later, you still don't know everything about diamonds. But it is a journey, and it is a journey that is exciting because of the product and because of the type of customers that we have. Every culture is different. Their taste for diamonds is also different. But all our diamonds are all polished to the same Royal Asher standards. All the diamonds that we currently manufacture but also develop in new cuts are all done by hand and by human eye. And all of these diamonds have one thing in common. Um, they are unique, they have 74 facets, and so what we do today is truly for our own brand. The Asher Diamond Company was founded in 1854 uh, by Isaac Joseph Asher. My great-great-great-grandfather uh, was a shoe polisher. Um, and uh, he decided that uh, uh, he wanted to do a different profession. And in those days, um, Jewish people were not allowed to do a lot of professions. Shoe polishing, but also diamond polishing was allowed. That's how he changed his profession. Asher family became famous in the beginning of the 19th century because um, they found the Excelsior diamond. At that time, it was the largest diamond in the world. 997 carats, found uh, by the Beers. In South Africa, in the Cullinan Mines, there was an even bigger diamond found. It was given uh, as a peace offering to King Edward VII of Great Britain. So he got that rough diamond and he thought, who better uh, to ask to cut this stone than the people that have cut the largest diamond so far? And that is how uh, Joseph Asher got to travel to London uh, to meet the king. And they have successfully cut that diamond uh, into nine large stones and 96 smaller ones, which still brace the British crown jewels. What's great about Joseph Asher is that he was a very creative person. And so together with his brothers, he actually created the Asher cut. These Asher cuts from those days were all larger stones, high crowns, stunning stones. During the Second World War, our company was destroyed. And so we lost the patent on the original Asher cut in 1945. We took the old patent and with modern technology, we started to remodel uh, the old Asher cut into what today is sold as the Royal Asher cut. Because the queen gave us the royal title in 1980. And when I started in 1970, we had 100 polishers here. But things change in the diamond industry. So the polishing of diamonds have moved from Europe to Thailand. And today, nine out of 10 diamonds are polished in India. But we are happy that a small number of large and special stones are still polished in Amsterdam. All the diamond cutters that we work with are specifically trained by our own master cutters. So when I joined the company, um, we were only a diamond polishing company. And so I said to my father and my brother and my uncle, listen, you know, why don't we create an engagement ring line? We now have uh, several bridal lines in different areas in the world. But the one thing that they all have in common is that we ensure that each ring we have created um, makes the diamond stand out the most. You truly look at the pure beauty of the diamond. Today, we're really specialized in unique patented diamond cuts. We have the Royal Usher cut, the predecessor of the Asher, the Royal Usher cushion, the Royal Usher oval, the Royal Usher round, and soon to come the Royal Usher pear shape. The Stars Collection is um, one of our other innovative ideas. And it all started when my father went to the MoMA in New York and came back with a plastic ring with a bubble with water and glitters. And he gave it to me and he said, this is so cute. And I said, yes, it's cute, but it would be even cuter if we would put diamonds in it. It's called the Stars because it's named after the Star of Africa. Uh, and part of the profits go to the Royal Usher Foundation. After all these years, we're still very excited about the magic of diamonds. And I think if we would lose that, we would have to close our doors. I think a diamond as a symbol of love, the people who buy it and also enjoy because it is a symbol of life and health. And I think that will be perpetual.